Howdy, neighbors. Uh, I thought that I would show you around a little bit with... I've got water going outside right now in one of the water lines. Because... Today is one of those, hang on, let me get this in the right arm. This is one of those days that is red flag warnings, high fire danger, um, you'll hear the wind, so I'll apologize for that right now. But I have this upper water line going. And I guess the best way to show it is to get back and hope that I can find a way that you can see the water spraying around. It looks like it's showing up pretty good. And, uh, so what I do is I turn this water line on, for instance, and, and you can see water blowing around everywhere, but when the wind gusts stop, and they do, the water settles down on the hill so not only am I getting, do I get the trees watered because as you can see, for instance this one right here, that's a Granny Smith and part of the sprayer hits the tree which drops the water right directly down at the base of the tree. It hits a lot of the branches and drops it all around and at the same time it also is getting this area a little bit. So this whole chunk right through here, I'll leave this on for a couple hours and it'll get it pretty soaking wet all through here. And hopefully this shows up on the video that you can see that every one of these trees is the same way. Now, I don't always do that. A lot of times I'll take those sprinkler heads, actually the whole sprinkler, I just pull a little piece of aluminum that I have the hoses in. Now, let me see if I can find, okay, here's one right here. Try not to get myself soaking wet from the spray. That, uh, let's see, let zoom in. Oop, come on, camera. There you are. Hey, stop that. Stop that. Okay. You can see the sprinkler. That gray thing that the water line is coming up through. Hey, uh, come on. God, I gotta figure this stupid thing out yet. That's just a piece of old window. You know the frame around old aluminum windows? That's just a piece of aluminum channel I cut with a hacksaw. And then using the the, the uh, quarter inch tube that these things uh, where's a closer one oh, let me de-zoom this there's one right here see this is a quarter inch water line 
Okay. Well, it turns out the quarter inch water line fits perfectly in those channels, the aluminum window frame channels. Another one right there. And then what I do is I put the water line up the channel and I squeeze the channel with a pair of pliers in a couple of spots and boom, it holds it right in there. And these sprinkler heads, I want to say they're like a gallon and a half an hour or something like that. So, you know, a gallon and a half an hour and I've got... I don't know, 20 or so on that one string. So, you know, 20 times 1.5. And what do you get per hour? And that covers a lot of water and covers a lot of ground. That's why I'm able to water this place on a gallon, 10 gallon a minute well. And I can still go in the house and take a shower with these running. I don't know if it shows up in here, but you can start to see how much of the ground is getting wet from right here in front of me, if you just right down in here, all the way up. You can see where it's starting to turn brown. And eventually, you know, within a couple hours, it will be all soaking wet right through there. So any ashes from a fire that starts to the north of me, which is where the wind is coming from right now, any ashes that fall down in that area. Somebody's shooting at something over there a couple streets over. Any ashes that fall in this area, you know, hot ashes that start fires, that's how they keep moving forward. Should hopefully go out. Or, you know, if I think something like that's coming close, I grab one of my hoses and, you know, keep an eye on it. But hopefully it slows down the fire. But, you know, so that's what's going on right now. Otherwise, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Yep. these weeds that have grown and this stuff was all weed whacked to nothing when Mike and Carolyn were here. <laughs> That's how overgrown it is. Alright, there goes that wind again. Y'all have a good day. Out with you later.